How's it going everybody? This is Junior from SandJackKnives.com. Well, the, uh, the saga of the Journeyman Smith Blade issues continues. As you can see, my dog entered the room there. Um, you saw in my last video where I was having some issues with my file guide had gotten off and then I realized that my vise was out of square, so I milled the surface of it, re, you know, re, basically trammed everything up and got everything back together. And I had done a test piece on the guard and everything seemed to be okay, but as it turns out, it was not. Um, I was still having some issues and I didn't find that out until a few days later. And so I'd milled a couple of pieces, I was working on a guard and I, the guard still was not lining up correctly. I was not getting a good fit between a good uh, connection with my, um, with my handle material. I could not figure out what was going on. So I thought, my goodness, did this get out of tram again? So I pulled the vise off, set up my dial indicator, I checked all the areas again that I had milled out. Everything was spot on, could not figure it out. And then I got to thinking, I wonder, the one thing that I did not check in all of this was my vise. I wonder if my vise was off. So I, you know, every time I match this, when I, when I mount this, I always use a dial indicator to make sure that I've got everything trammed in terms of you know, um, I don't know what you would call it, like left or right, I've always checked it, but I've never looked to see if I had any kind of rise or run going here. Sure enough, I was about eight thousandths of an inch off from this side to this side, um, and, I, and I verified it, so what I did was I took the dial indicator and I ran it across the top of the vise, and it was off, and never really checked for that before so I put I wanted to see well maybe it's just the jaws of my vise maybe they were just off so I took one of my parallels and I mounted it in there tightened it up ran the dial indicator across the parallel and sure enough the parallel was off um, so obviously the parallel is not off something's wrong with my vise so learning from what I did with my mill with my table on my mill where I milled it I took my vise apart and the surface here where the jaws slide on, I basically milled that. I took about 15 thousandths off of that. And there's a little pin that goes in here where the back, where the, I guess the, the stationary draw, draw mounts. So I had to take about 15 thousandths off of that. So I did that with my surface grinder because other than that, it kind of sits up a little bit. So I did that, rechecked it, good to go. So lesson learned when you're going through the issue, Going through all the trouble of tramming out your mill to make sure everything is square and make sure everything is lining up properly, don't forget to check your vise. If you've got one a, a cheaper Chinese model like this, it may not be perfectly um, perfectly square. So I, for a temporary fix, I'm going to go ahead and order myself a, a newer, more precision uh, vise just because I don't want to have to mess with that again. But if you do have a cheaper mill, you might want to check your vise because these slides where it slides up, where, where the, uh, the jaws slide across, sure enough, I was off from one side to the other. Milled about 15 thousandths off, good to go. Uh, measured everything out and everything is, is back to where it should be. So, lesson learned, check your vise. Have a good one, guys.